we all have our own conversion stories. We all have our own things that we've had to get rid of in our lives. We all still have the stuff that we struggle with. And God says, I am your hope. I want to come and bring healing to all that. The powerful name of Jesus comes and transforms. The powerful name of Jesus comes and breaks through the darkness. God comes to us as the divine physician, the lover of our souls, and longs for us to heal, be healed. He longs to heal us. So the big question is, why don't we get healed? If God so wants to heal us, why are we not healed? Why do we struggle with the same things over and over and over and over again? I'm not going to say that I have all the answers. But I am going to talk about a few of the obstacles that stand in the way of healing. So the first big obstacle that stands in the way of our healing is sin. Now, a lot of times we think about sin as, these are the things that thou shalt not do. But remember, our whole faith is about relationship. It's not about being the good kid. It's not about, well, the older brother, let's be honest, he he wasn't the one that ended up going into the party, was he, in the prodigal son story. It's not about being the good kid. Sin is about hurting our relationship with Almighty God. And sin doesn't cause a problem to God because God can forgive it. What I think there's something supposed to go here and I stepped on one of the tapes. Sin sticks to us and drags around with us Talk about thinking on your feet, quite literally. 